Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Susie Martin with your national threats update. The Saharan dust lay, uh, layer has been all the rage lately. This is something that happens every year, but there's been a particularly impressive plume that has come off the uh, Saharan desert, and you can see this, uh, and this is going to continue to translate through the Caribbean. The good news is that tends to shut down cyclone development, so we don't have any tropical concerns, but eventually this is going to result in uh, some hazy conditions across the Gulf Coast and the southeastern U.S. as that will be arriving into the southeastern tier and uh, south central tier too. So that's something to know. Otherwise, across the country, heat is a big story. We've got Florida roasting as well as California. These two locations under heat advisories. The heat indices in Florida will be well above 100 degrees, in some cases as high as 107 for Tampa, Miami. So dangerously hot conditions. We also do have some severe weather concerns. Some isolated severe activity cannot be ruled out in the mid-Atlantic, but we're watching this next frontal boundary tracking through the upper Midwest and this is going to give rise to some rough weather. This will be translating through the region Friday. So today, a lot of those storms will be flaring up into the Dakotas. And as that front pushes eastward, that storm threat will be pushing into areas like Minneapolis, St. Paul, Wisconsin, and into Illinois and Chicago eventually, where severe threats will be a slight. So meaning isolated severe weather events will be a possibility into the Great Lakes region. Uh, so that's what we'll continue to watch for. We'll keep you up to date.